Okay, let's construct this tricky little project. Let's uh, review again what we have to do. Setup creates about 10 turtles, scatters them around on the screen, and uh, the go button will actually pick up a circle if we click on it. Notice that we're now inside this orange circle. We're going to click on it and we can drag it. I have included uh, in this project this particular monitor that shows you what what's happening with the left hand mouse button and so you can see that I'm now pressing the left hand mouse button down because it says true and when I release it this says false so that you'll know what I'm doing with the mouse button um, so if I am just outside the circle when I press the mouse button down it doesn't pick up and nothing happens even if I press the mouse button down now and then get into the circle it still nothing happens uh, this the circle is only picked up if at the point at the point in time when I'm pressing the mouse button down my mouse is inside the, the colored portion of the circle as it does now and now I can drag it okay so the tricky part here is detecting when the mouse button has just come down because that's the only time that I'm interested in uh, actually selecting a circle all other times I'm not let's take a look at the code there are three global variables that I've created each uh, each controlling uh, something previous button state will tell us uh, will be set to what the previous button state was so that I can tell when the mouse button is just being pressed um, anybody picked up I will set to true and false in uh, true in case a, a turtle is currently uh, being selected and uh, is available for dragging and false if no circle is being selected um, and circle picked is in fact going to be set to the turtle itself that is picked uh, so that I can tell which turtle uh, to drag around. The setup procedure is relatively straightforward. It creates 10 turtles and scatters them about on the screen. It sets the initial values of anybody picked up to false because of course no turtle is, uh, is picked up at the very start. And it sets the initial button state to up because the initial uh, mouse button state is in fact up. This is the entire Go routine. It's a little bit tricky to understand, but bear with me. Um, we make sure that the button's inside. If it's not inside, we're not interested in doing anything. Okay. Once inside, if the mouse button is right now, if it's down right now, and the previous button state was up, then we know that at this very moment, it was that the uh, user has pressed the mouse button down. It was up a moment ago, it is down now, and therefore now is the time to decide whether the mouse is inside of a circle or not in order to pick it. So right now, knowing that that's the case, we try to pick up the nearest circle, which is in fact down here, a procedure that I will go over in a moment. Um, that procedure will then set the anybody picked up to true or false in case we have actually succeeded in picking up um, a, a circle. If we're too far away from one, then we haven't, and, and um, try to pick up near a circle will in fact set anybody picked up to false. But if we are close enough, then uh, anybody picked up will be set to true by this particular procedure here. And um, if it is true, then we set the previous button state now to something that is down and dragging, the, the uh, set of uh, the string down and dragging. Uh, if nobody has been picked up, then we set the button state to just down. Now, um, if, let's see, the, when we go through the go routine, uh, notice that the, if the uh, previous button was up, it will be immediately changed to one of these two. So at the end of this procedure, end of this block of code, previous bu uh, button state will not be up anymore. And um, 
All right, let's take a look at what happens if the mouse button is down and the previous button state is down and dragging. Well, in that case, we want to ask the circle picked. And this is a, uh, a variable that will be um, set by try to pick up nearest circle. We'll, we'll, ask the nearest, uh, we'll ask the circle picked to follow the mouse, and that's the dragging. If, on the other hand, the mouse is no longer down and the mouse is up, we certainly want to make sure that no anybody picked up is false because of course we want to drop the circle in case there was a circle that was picked up if case it wasn't it's already false and we set the previous button state to up because the button state is in fact up and we wait for a hundredth of a second here between go routines and um, let's see what the try to pick up nearest circle does we create a little uh, variable called uh, candidate and uh, this is the section of code that tries to find the nearest circle to where the mouse is. min one of will take a look at all circles and for all turtles and for every single turtle we'll calculate this quantity which is the distance from that turtle to where the mouse is and we'll then choose that's min one of choose the turtle for which this is the smallest quantity. Having chosen that particular, having chosen the turtle that is closest to the mouse, we still have to figure out whether the closest turtle is close enough. So now that the closest turtle is in candidate, we'll ask the candidate, let's take a look at your distance, Mr. Candidate, to the mouse. And if that is smaller than size over 2, well, size is in fact the radius, excuse me, the diameter of the circle and so size over 2 is the radius of the circle and so if the mouse is closer than one radius of the circle away then it's pointing inside the colored region if it's larger than one radius away it is not so if it is um, if the distance is smaller then we set in fact anybody picked up to true and we actually put the candidate which is a turtle into the global variable circle picked so that up here we can talk to that particular turtle and drag it. I will put a link to this particular project so that you can stare at it for a little bit longer and see what it actually does um, underneath the video.